This week, AI wrote a Grammy-winning song, optimised its own code, and sparked a global ethics showdown. First up, OpenAI is flexing. Their new O3 mini model is crushing benchmarks in math and coding. The originally named Deep Research, same name as Google's tool, I don't know, and O3 is free for chat GPT users. That's pretty cool. Deep Research and the operator tool is not. Still 200 US and about a million Australian dollars since the FX rate has tanked. No, thank you. I think it's about 350 AU. Bit rich for many, I would guess. In the in-depth report, Sam Altman thinks it could replace nearly 1% of paid research work. Imagine AI autonomously scouring the web for detail analysis. Still need someone to drive it. Mm. The EU rollout is live. Google Gemini 2.0 is throwing down the gauntlet on price. Flashlight is just 10 cents per million tokens, undercutting everybody. Gemini Pro handles massive context windows, I think up to 4 million, and their image generator API is now open. Oh, and Google also quietly removed their AI weapons and surveillance ban. Big shift there. Mistral AI's La Chat chatbot is going viral for instant co-generations. Think of a Kawaii calculator built in seconds. Their pro tier is just 15 bucks, US of course, actually reducing message limits. Interesting move. But the real head turner, Deep Seek R1, just achieve a two time speed boost by having the AI optimize its own code. Let that sink in, optimize its own code. OpenAI complained Deep Seek stole its model. It's a laugh. Hey, ChatGBT, write me a story on the style of Tom Clancy. Oh, look, it looks exactly like his writing. It's pot calling kettle black, I think. Globally, the EU AI Act is now law banning prohibited systems like real-time biometrics. And France just hosted a major AI action summit focusing on ethics and open source. The Super Bowl week generally means Americans are distracted, so my guess is the big announcements will start up again next week. We are expecting X's Grok 3 to drop any time now and open AI models to be available in the Plus model, not just for the pro users. But let's zero on the deep seek breakthrough. Self-improving AI is, isn't just incremental improvements. Deep seek R1 autonomously tweaked its own code to get faster. This hints at something potentially revolutionary. Recursive self-improvement. Imagine AI that cannot just use its intelligence but fundamentally enhance it again and again. Again, America releases something and China finds a way of delivering it cheaper. And I love open source as well. Anthropic has it now on their web app. And I downloaded Olama and I'm running it on my laptop. Slow, but if the internet explodes, I've got a copy. Come and see me. Analysts are now debating, are we approaching a hard takeoff to artificial general intelligence? Will AI's intelligence explode exponentially? I don't know. The ethical implications are massive. Companies like Anthropic are developing constitutional classifiers to prevent AI jailbreaks and biases. The risk of filter bubbles and unforeseen consequences in self-improving systems is very real. Are we building tools that we can truly control? Or are we crossing a threshold into something fundamentally unpredictable? Will AI self-improvement lead us into the intelligence explosion, or is it just all a bit of hype? Hmm. Fair bit this week, but I suspect that now that the Super Bowl is done and played, and I'm recording it before it, releasing it around about the same day, uh, we might see uh, February ramp up with lots more exciting announcements. Bye for now.